Okay, team, let's talk about a strategy called Save and Move It. Now, this is an activity. It uses those counters. It, it's very similar to using the uh, sound boxes. In fact, we could even be moving these pegs into a sound box here. All right. And, and basically, what it involves, uh, if we're just doing Save and Move It, is the, the, the teacher usually starts by saying a word. Let's use a very basic word. Let's just say the word cat. The teacher says the word cat, cat. The student repeats the word cat. And then the student uses either counters or, or, or checkers in, in a sound box. And they essentially, they move the pegs into the box. K -a -t. And then at the very end, they blend them together, cat. So I'll repeat it for say to move it. The teacher says the word cat. The student repeats the word cat. Then the student segments the sound but while moving their finger and moving the the uh, the the circles into the boxes. K -a -t. And then they blend it. Cat. So this is an activity if you ever saw or heard the someone said, "Hey, let's play say to move it." Well, they're they're not saying what they're saying is let's do some phoneme segmentation, right? So if you hear say to move it, you know it's a phoneme segmentation question using, you know, sound boxes and oconan boxes to segment the sounds in words spoken orally or or words that where you're given a picture and then you have to use the picture as the starting point to segment the sounds. Okay. Now, um, there's lots of videos that you could, this is a real thing. I didn't just make it up. And if you, if you're like, what is say to move it? I've never heard of it before. I would encourage you to go to YouTube and just type in say to move it and look for this picture here, this video here, where you have a puppet <laughs> and a teacher. You just type into YouTube, say it, move it, return, and you'll see this uh, two minute long video and the, and the puppet actually talks. Puppet's like, you know, so it's a little weird, but hey, it's cool. I love it. In fact, uh, I think they did a great job with it. So, so take a look at this video if you want to learn about say to move it. And here's why you would do that. Because in a moment, we're going to, we're going to look at say it and move it, and we're going to do a modification of it. We're going to do say it, move it, spell it, write it. And this activity, which is based off say it and move it, is a great activity uh, or intervention or instructional strategy to help a student that's having issues with letter sound correspondence. And this is going to be like an activity. If you ever saw a student and they had a weakness in phonics, if phonics was their weakness and you're writing your essays, right? You're writing your essays and you notice the student is having difficulty with phonics, with letter sound correspondence, say it, move it, spell it, write it. It's a great activity to practice letter sound correspondence. Okay. So it's worthwhile to know what say it and move it is so that you can have an understanding of what say it, move it, spell it, and write it is. Maybe you put that in your essay if you notice the student's uh, area of need is involving phonics, okay? That's a little bit later on, but trust me, that might help you on your essays. This is a, this is a potentially a great intervention, uh, say it, move it, spell it, write it for, for these reading, uh, these reading uh, essays on all the exams. If you're ever having to write an intervention on a student's oral fluency, and you see they're making a lot of mistakes with phonics and phonics patterns and mispronunciations of words. This might be a strategy you could incorporate if you see the weaknesses involving something with phonics, okay?